Hi everyone, Greg here. Now, remember we went to Bali recently and we had that Balinese breakfast and we had an omelette and it came out and it surprised us because it had coconut cream in it. Anyway, I thought today I'd make a replica of that just to bring back those memories and see if I can make it taste as good as the one that I had. Anyway, it's really easy with hardly any ingredients. Let's do it. So this is all I'm using today. A spring onion, a tomato, I got three eggs, I got some coconut cream here. Well, that's a hairy nut. And I got some butter. Of course I've got some butter. It's Greg's kitchen. So there's just two things I need to cut up. The tomato and the spring onion. I want to dice them into nice little fine slithers so they're nice and fine and can cook nice and fast. So, by the magic of YouTube. That's done. I only used half the tomato and I probably won't even use all of the spring onions either. So now I've done that, let's turn our focus to these bad boys. I'll use three eggs in this. And I'll crack a couple of holes in my coconut cream. Now I'll warm this up to a good medium high heat. Is it warmed up? Oh, you f yes, it's warmed up. So I'll grab the butter and we'll start melting this in the frying pan. And while that's melting, I'll chuck nearly all the onions in and the tomato. And that's the meal done. <laughs> well, it could be. Oh man, just the smell of that smells so good already. So I've let that fry for about a minute. Oh boy, it smells so good. Mm -mm. I try and spread it out sort of evenly. And next I'll just pour the eggs in. Give it a shake. So the egg gets underneath those onions and tomato, hopefully. Bubble, my pretty. Bubble. Yes. Yes. That's the way. And so now, once it's sort of almost cooked on top, it's time to grab your coconut cream. And we'll just go back and forth like this over the top. Bit on that end. Get the spatula underneath and give it a flip. Oh, I'll turn the heat off now. And there we go. The coconut cream omelette. How easy was that? So I'll just slide it onto the plate. And I can finish it off if I like with some leftover green stuff on top. Well, there you go. I mean, how easy was it? It took me no time at all. Let's hope it tastes as good as the one that I had. All right. Mmm. Oh yeah, baby! Tira Makasi needs some salt. Well there you go, a simple exotic breakfast for you to make so it makes you feel like you're a million miles away. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I make something. <laughs> see ya! Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen with the day I Coconut cream omelette. Tastes like a coconut did a dump in my mouth. It was.